no? Di man ko madungog, no? Sa light. Hindi siya mag-send o link, Jill. Mag-send lang po ron, ma'am. Okay. Di ko madungog kung mag-yawyo ko yung nanay. Mag-send madungog. <laughs> Magupo Pilot Central Elementary School. The largest and leading public elementary school located at the heart of Tagum City. Known as the home of the champions. In the field of academics. Reading programs, journalism, sports, Brigada Escuela, we advocate time consciousness and honesty on watch. Aflatoon, Gulayan sa Paralan Music and the Arts and a lot more With highly competent teachers With impressive and conducive learning environment That provides proven and tested Quality education indicates is offering free accessible and appropriate education according to the trends in the new normal. How to enroll in Magumpo Pilot Central Elementary School. First, just go to MPCES Mabini Street, Tagum City. Second, abide to our school health protocols. Third, fill out the form accurately. And fourth, submit to help desktop for validation. You are then officially enrolled. For inquiries, contact us through our hotline numbers. What are you waiting for? Enroll now! For more updates, Please like and follow our Facebook pages, Magumpo Pilot Central Elementary School official page, and MPCS Reading Programs. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MPCS Reading Programs.
Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome again to our most exciting and most awaited program of Magugpo Pilot Central Elementary School, the three o'clock reading habit, a reading webinar series for students via Facebook and YouTube Live. Today is Monday, a uh, Tuesday, July 21, 2020. So in behalf of teacher Mary Ann L. Ramirez, I am now your host for today. And, and at the same time, your technical director, teacher Janice May M. Ordinario. So today is July 21, 2020, Tuesday. We are so delighted to have this session number 15 our for our reading program in english and of course we are so blessed again to have with us our co-host for this week an alluring and one of the brilliant teacher of grade two teacher jill rose b agonia hi hello mr jill good afternoon how are you today Hi, teacher. Good afternoon, as well as to our viewers from the Facebook and YouTube Live. Thank you so much for watching with us again today. I am teacher Jill, and I will be your co-host for this afternoon session. Truly, we will have a fun-filled afternoon. Yes, teacher Jill. Um, thank you very much for being with us today. And whole throughout this week right so yes, everyone is so excited to see you again so teacher jill um let's see or let's check if our participants are now ready yes let us see teacher janice now kids let me see if you are all ready if you are ready for this afternoon session let me see your light sign Okay, you click the like sign below if you are all ready. I guess, Mom Janice, they are all really ready. Yes, Teacher Jill, I saw it already and we are flooded with likes for this afternoon oh, session. Good, Thank you guys. very much to our dear viewers for that. And of course, uh, at this juncture, Teacher Jill, uh, let's check if who were our viewers for this afternoon. So let's start with our uh, viewers from the grades 1 two and three okay kids listen if you are a student even not in our school uh, uh everyone who viewed us today of course uh, if you are a grade one grade two and a grade three pupil now please click the like button below now, go kids click now now kids click click the like button and I know for sure, Mom Jans, we also have uh, viewers from grades four to six students. So if you are grades four from grades four to six students, you click the wow button below. Let me see your wow button. Wow, that wow, is we awesome. are flooded with wow reactions, yes. Teacher Jill. And of course, Teacher Jill, uh, let's check now again our avid viewers from our parents. I know they are. Uh, indeed supportive to us diba right and now let's check if you are a parent now click the heart button in the reaction below go 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 parents wow. thank you for always with us parents. for having with us always oh that's a lot of heart reaction from jans now let me see your reaction coming from our teachers and of course who are very supportive deaf and personal let me see your love reaction can you please click the love reaction below to our yes thank you person. so much teachers yes, and of really course lot. yes thank you so much to our deaf and personals and of course to our teachers and other teachers now attending the our division training of trainers right so yes. <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> still watching and thank you for supporting with us <laughs> so teacher jill at this time um for the last time let us um see 
if our kids, our viewers are now ready. So if you are now ready, click the like button, go. Go kids. And of yes. course, Sir Jill, if they wanted to have a share badge, once again, if you want to have a share badge, now you can share our link now. How to do it? Just click the share button below and share, copy it to your wall and share it. Yeah, and thank you so much for yes. always supporting us. That's so easy, Mom Jens. In order to get the badge, you must, you, you just have to click the share button. And in that, you can have the badge. Badge, I guess. Yes. So thank you so much, kids, for participating and for your cooperation. Yeah, thank you so much because we wanted you to share this to everyone because we prepared this for oh, for all of you. Yeah, thank you once yes. again for the support and love to our program. So at this juncture, Teacher Jill, um, I think our viewers are now excited to share their shout outs. So how about you, Teacher Jill? Are you ready for our shout outs today? Yes, I'm very much ready and I can really smell the excitement of our viewers this afternoon. So let me have the shout outs that we have there, Mom Jans. Yes, you type your shout outs, kids. Okay, so we have here a shout out from, wow, I've seen you yesterday, James. Hi there, Marianne, wow. Hi, Marian from Kisha Abrasaldo. Hello, everyone. Hello, Kisha. From Priscilla. Good afternoon to all teachers and pa shout out po sa Great Trezinia. Wow. Hi, Priscilla. From Philip Andrew. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to Philip. From Janely Lahoy Lahoy. Hi, everyone. Hi, Janely. From Pirzila, hello everyone. And we also have a shout out from Princess. Shout out po, grade 5 section Baldazar under Mrs. Mary Ann L. Ramirez and soon to be Mount Eriga po. Hello, good afternoon. Shout out po, grade 5 Baldazar from James Nasmin. Hi James. We also have a shout out here from Reina Bella Dominguez. Pa shout out po, grade for Heron. Soon to be grade for Zamora. I think they're really excited to go to the next level. We still have more shout outs from January K. Sabanal. Shout out po from grade for Heron. Soon to be grade for Zamora. Thank you for watching, January. We also have a shout out from JB James. Pa shout out po, great for Heron, soon to be great five Zamora. Hi. Hi, mga teachers from JV. Hi to JV. Thank you for watching. Shout out po from Princess and Edlai. Hi, Princess. We have a shout out here from. MGK Lim Barrieta, good afternoon. Hi, MG, good afternoon too. From K Umbay, pa shout out po sa Great Five Zamora and Great for Heron, pati na rin sa Umbay family na always mamina. Wow, that's so much good to hear. Thank you so much, Umbay family. From Jen Clifford Kiben, pa shout out po, Great Five Zamora, Jen Clifford Kiben. Hi, Jen Clifford. Kisha Abrazaldo, shout out po, grade 4 Heron, soon to be grade 5 Zamora. I think we really have a lot of viewers from grade 4 Heron. We also have here a shout out from January K. Hi po, mom. Hi, January. So pretty. <laughs> from Princess Anne, shout out po from grade 5 Baltasar and their Mrs. Mary Ann L. Ramirez. I think we have really a lot of shout outs. K Umbay is watching. Thank you so much, K, for watching. From James Nasmith. God bless all teachers. God bless you too, James. Thank you. From Anneli Miliama. Ma'am, pa shout out po Syra Mariga and Sophia Mariga, Mariga, grade 5 Baltasar under Mrs. Mary Ann Ramirez. Hello. Thank you for watching, Anneli and Sophia. Shout out from Jimily Libra Baya Baya. Good afternoon, po. Great to great to Angelo. Hello, Jimeline. Thank you for watching with us. 
also have a shout out here from Cedric. Pa shout out po, great to Apitong, soon to be great Resinia. Wow, hi Cedric, thank you for watching. From Princess Anne, good afternoon, Teacher Janice, and to everyone, God bless po, stay safe. Also, stay safe po, viewers. We also have here a shout out from Althea Ruby. Good afternoon, mga teachers. Hi, good afternoon. Pa shout out po, great to Apitong, under kay Ma'am Jocelyn Cabrera, soon to be greater Zinia from Cedric. Hello. Pa shout out po, grade 5 Zamora, soon to be grade 6 Mount Canlaon from Drew Hatchy. Hi. Okay, shout out from Princess Anne Edlai. Hello. We also have a shout out from Althea Ruby. Hello everyone. Pa shout out po sa mga grade 4 Heron. Soon to be grade 5 Zamora. Wow, they're really a lot from grade 4 Heron. We also have here Heidi. Shout, pa shout out po grade 3 Rose. Soon to be Kingfisher from Cardenas. Hello Heidi. Thank you for watching with us. From Arya Nicole, Briones, hi po, pa shout out po sa grade for Eagle, new student in MPCS from BUCCPLC. Hello, Arian, welcome in MPCS. Kate Picard, shout out po sa grade 3 Gumamela. Hello, Kate, thank you so much for watching. From Daniel Danghill. shout out to grade 5 section Baltazar under Mom Mary and Ramirez. Oh, hi, Daniel. Hi, Teacher Jill from Dean Cedric Acero. Hello, Dean Cedric as well as Ronnie Thank you for the shout out. Hi. Shout out to Teacher Tina. This is Jacob from Grace Canilliada. Hello, thank you for watching. Shout out po from Grade 4 Herald, soon to be Grade 5 Zamora from January K. Sabanal. Ayan, thank you. We also have here shout out po grade 5 Zamora soon to be grade 6 Mount Kanlaon from Juhachi. Hello. Pa shout out po Jenna Princess Dara grade 2 Giho teacher Arlene Masiliones soon to be grade 3 Magnolia from Jana Princess. Wow. Hi. New student po ako transfer me from James Nasri. Oh James, welcome in MPCS. Thank you. Hello, teachers from Macjal Limborieta. Hi, Macjal. Thank you for watching. Hello, po, teacher from 3D Rio. Hello, 3D. Hope you're all doing all doing all good. Shout out po, Gerald Ryan Darug, Grade Five Baltazar, Teacher Mary and Ramirez, soon to be Grade Six Mount Pinatubo from Gerald Ryan Darug. Hi, Gerald. Hi, Lavador. A shout out from Kate Picard. What's up, Lavador? Um, hi, I'm watching, Ma'am Artemis Quintos. Hi, Po Ma'am Galope. Thank you for watching. Hello, Ma'am from Yesa Marie Baluran Arangues. Hello, Yesa. Thank you for watching. Go, teachers. Ng mga guapa kaayo. Wow, that's. That's so flattering. Thank you. Pa shout out po kay Mark Angelo Bong Hanoi. Soon to be grade 6. He's so much excited from Dora Dabi. Hi, Mark Angelo. Thank you for watching. We're excited too. Hope you'll have fun this afternoon. Can we have more shout outs there? Shout out po, grade 4 Heron from Angel Barrietta. Hi, Angel. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you so much, Teacher Jill. And I guess we will continue to read their shout outs later. Yes, of course. From because we'll read all your shout outs later. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just continue typing kids to our viewers so that we can still uh, read their shout outs later on. So, Teacher Jill, are you excited for this afternoon? Yes, I'm very much <sighs> excited, Mom Janice. And me too. It's because this point. We are so delighted to have our guest for this afternoon who will fill our afternoon with joy, excitement, and of course, new learning. So, Teacher Jill, help me welcome our lovely 
and charming grade 4 teacher, Teacher Maria Fem A. Maglinab. Hello! Hello, Teacher Janice and Teacher G. Hello, Mom Fem. Welcome to Hello. the New York Black Reading Habit. Good afternoon. Thank you, G. Thank you, Hi, Teacher Mom G. Fem. Good afternoon. I feel good and I am very excited for this up afternoon to be with you and most especially to with our students in MPCS. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon also to our dear principal, Ma'am Joy J. Direlos, the super active and gorgeous principal for of MPCS and also to all the teachers in MPCS. Oh, may pa shout out din ako to all the great four teachers in MBCS. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, okay, ma'am. Thank you so much, Mom Fam. I'm really loving the energy that you have this afternoon. And I know that you're really prepared for this afternoon session. So let me ask you, Mom Fam, are you excited to share something exciting to our viewers this afternoon? Yes, I'm super excited, especially to our kids. I I prepared the uh, trivias for them. Wow, that's very exciting. So can you share it out to our viewers, Mom Fan? All right, all right. Okay, 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 teacher Gia. And now let us have a great way to have fun and learn new things. I have here some trivia questions. Question number one. Okay, are you ready, kids? Okay, hello, Mom Fem. Oh, my pa shout out na dito. Shout out to all the teachers also. I love you too, Kay. Hello, Mom Fem. I love you po. Okay, let's go to question number one. Okay, this trivia is from Fact Monster. Okay, let's go to question number one. Ready, kids? All right, question number one. Which animal leaps out of the water to communicate with others of its kind? Again, which animal leaps out of the water to communicate with others of its kind? Is it flying fish or a tadpole or a whale? Which animal leaps out of the water to communicate with others of its kind? A flying fish, a tadpole, or a whale? Okay, comment your answer below. Okay, kids, what do you think is that animal that leaps out of the water to communicate with others of its kind? Is it flying fish, a tadpole, or a whale? What do you think is that animal? Okay. Yes, we are still typing. Oh, we have here an answer from Drew Navarez. Flying fish. All right. Another answer. James Nosmith. We have here flying fish. An answer from Thoughts <laughs> are from Answer from Reed Good. Flying fish. Flying okay. fish. Flying fish. Barbosa. Okay, what do you think is the answer, ma'am? Okay, I think they answered flying fish, Teacher Jill. It's because from the word flying or leap, right? But okay. okay, but the only animal that leaps out of the water to communicate with others is whale. Very good. Dora oh. answered whale. No, Dora yes. answered whale. Okay, whale, is it be it's because these leaps are called breaches. Yun ang tawag doon. The scientists also theorize that whales breach to remove skin parasite. So the correct answer is whale. Okay, now let's go to the second question. Which of these land animals moves most slowly? Again, which of these land animals moves most slowly? Is it snail, a turtle? or a three-toed sloth? Is it a snail, a turtle, or a three-toed sloth? 
Comment now your answer. Okay. All right, Mr. Jill, for the information of everybody, since three toad slot kasi is not that familiar, right? Mm -hmm. Hindi siya ganyan ka familiar. It is a mammal, the laziest creature in the world. So, hindi lang pala tayo yung pinaka <laughs> lazy sa buong mundo. Not, not just us. Yeah, you're right. Diba? Nandito pa si three toad slot. Ito si three toad slot also, eat more, but evolve to do less. O, oh, diba? So, kaya pa yala siya mahina, maggumalaw. Mag it's because ang dami niyang kinakain, pero konti lang yung galaw niya. This is yeah. known to be the quiet, the aggressive, and can do some serious damage with wow. their claws. Okay, okay, so we have an so, added knowledge from Mom Fem. Mom Fem, yeah. thank you so much for that. And we have here an answer, Mom Fem, from Shella Marie Sumagang. Oh, that's my student from grade two. Her answer is snail. Hi, my kinakalahan. <laughs> okay, we also have here an answer from James Nasmith, snail. Princess Ryan, wow. snail. Cedric Alvera, snail po. From Dora Dye, snail. From Grace Asiman Snail. We have also here from Makjal Lim Snail. I think they have common answers. Daniel answered three toad slot. What do you think is the answer, kids? Okay, from Althea Ruby Snail. From Ronica Marie. Hi, Ronica. Her answer is Snail. From Angel, Angel Barrietta Snail. From Eros Isaac Snail, I guess their answers are all the same. What is the answer, Mom Fem? What is all that? All right. Answer? Very, very good, kids. Very brilliant answer. So the 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 uh, the animal that move mostly slow in land animal is the snail. It is because it would take a garden snail over thirty hours to go a mile. Ganyan siya kahina. So. All your answers are correct. Snail is the correct answer. Okay, let's proceed now to the third question. We have here, which is the biggest of the great apes? Again, which is the biggest of the great apes? Is it orangutan, gorilla, or the chimpanzee? Is it orangutan, gorilla, or the chimpanzee? Okay, comment now your answers, kids. Okay, the question is, which is the biggest of the great apes? Is it orangutan, gorilla, or the chimpanzee? Which among this is the biggest, kids? You write your answers in the comment section below. Yes. I really like the questions, mom fam. Thank you, teacher Jill. <laughs> okay, we have here an answer from my next, gorilla. Gorilla, I can have more answer from Reed Good Orangutan. Is it Orangutan from Drew Navar Navaris? Orangutan from Dora Dai Chimpanzee. Now, this is exciting because they have different answers now. From yeah. Cookie Frapex, Orangutan. From Drew Navaris, Orangutan. From Yesa Mare, Gorilla. Okay. The answer from Denise. Nagalisa, hi Denise. Gorilla from Angel Barrietta, Gorilla. Shout out to Mom Esther Batinga. She's watching hi, with Mom us. Esther. I love you too, Mommy S. We love you. Yes. <laughs> Mom, we love you also have here an answer from Princess Almuete, Orangutan. What is the answer, uh, Mom Fam? What is the members natin yan sila, no? <laughs> okay, the biggest, yeah, the biggest among the great apes is gorilla. Gorilla is the correct answer. Okay, adult male gorilla weigh about 400 pounds and can be six feet tall when standing. Then the adult female gorilla weigh about 200 pounds and can be 5 feet tall 
when standing. Okay, so if we're going to convert pounds, um, I think uh, 400 pounds for the male gorilla, that is uh, estimated uh, 200 kilos. And then for the female gorilla, that the the 200 pounds that that is estimated um, 90 or 100 kilos. Ganon. Okay, let's go now to the third question. A fourth, I mean. Next question, please. Okay, the next question is: Which bird can fly straight up, down, and backward? Again, which bird can fly straight up, down, and backward? Is it the pigeon, the hummingbird, or the eagle? Pigeon, hummingbird, or the eagle? Comment now your answer, kids. Okay, once again, kids, the question of Mom Fem is that which bird can fly straight up, down, and backward? Is it a pigeon, hummingbird, or the eagle? Oh, the choices are very familiar. These are the sections in your grade level, Mom Fem. Yes, kaya sinali ko yan. <laughs> special mention yan, di ba? Para paraan. Okay, so... Konisha, this is a kind of bird na para gymnast, no? Diba? Imagine. <laughs> ba? Yes, can move up. up ba? And down, no? Yes. <laughs> Mongga, we already have here an answer from Cedric. He says, hummingbird. Wow. Bird. Can we have more answer? Very good, Cedric. From James Nasmith, hummingbird. From Heidi Lepitan, eagle. Oh, from Red Coon. Who is Dwayne Johnson? We don't have Dwayne <laughs> Johnson in our choices. Choices, okay, from yeah. From Marie, Hummingbird. From Grace, Pigeon is my answer. This is Jacob. Hi, Jacob. From my next, Hummingbird. From Heidi, Eagle. What do you think is that animal? From Juhachi, Hummingbird. EJ Lu, hummingbird. Okay, wow. good answer. Hummingbird. Mafem, what do you think is that animal? All right, the the bird that can fly straight up, down, and backward is the hummingbird. They can hover too. You want, the ba? They're not only going straight up and down, but they can hover too. All right, very good answer, kids. Okay, let's proceed now to our last fact question. Which animal is the only flying mammal? Again, which animal is the only flying mammal? Bat, flying squirrel, or albatross? Again, bat, flying squirrel, or albatross? Choose your answer now. Okay, the question is, which animal is the only flying animal? Is it a bat, flying squirrel, or the albatross? What do you think is the animal who is only a flying animal? Can you write your answers in the comment section? Yes. Okay, wow. James is very fast. His answer is bat. Is it a bat? From Cedric, bat. From Denise, bat. Oh, they have the same answers, huh? From Shalom Marie Bat. From Drew Navarez Bat. Is he the flying, only flying man? Yeah. From Philip teacher, Andrew Bat, top man. Yes. That proves teacher Jill had huh, that we really have uh, a brilliant students in MPCS. Yes, right? Of we produce brilliant students, mom fam. Exactly. It's <laughs> true. Okay, we also have here an answer from Drew Navarez, bat. So, mom fam, can you please tell us what is the only flying mammal? All right. The animal which is also a flying mammal is a bat. Because the uh, bat is uh, belongs to the mammalian order, which means hand wing. The bones in a bat's wing one are uh, those of the human arm and hand, so they can uh, fly also. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, thank you so much, Mom Fam, for your trivia questions. We've really learned a lot. And of course, I'm really sure that our viewers learned a lot soon. So now, Ma'am, are you ready to share to us your story? Okay, I'm very excited. So my technicalities with my ring light. <laughs> Okay, are you ready, kids? Are you excited? Because me and Teacher Jill and Teacher Janice, we are also excited. Okay, so in this story, it is it is a very short. Uh, okay, let's have the vocabulary first. Okay, the first word we have. Okay, we have the word mad. Someone, mad means someone who is mad has a mind that does not work in a normal way with the result at their behavior is very strange. Okay, now when do you feel mad? Kids, when do you feel mad? Okay, the question of mom fam is kids, when do you feel mad? Do you get mad too, Mom Fem? Most of the time. <laughs> How about you, Teacher Jill? Yes, when I'm really hungry, I really get mad. <laughs> oh, all right. So can we ask for our kids if when did they get mad? Aside Teacher Jill, why, while they are still typing their answers, aside from being hungry, when do you feel mad? Um, I'm not really mad at all. <laughs> I'm just a happy-go-lucky girl. <laughs> it's very obvious because you look so gorgeous. You too. You look adorable. I think uh, you. we have an answer here. Yes. <laughs> if someone what wakes me up. Yeah. All right. We have the same feeling, Heidi. Me too. We have also here an answer from Princess and I'm mad when someone used my phone without asking my permission. Oh, diba? So, <laughs> my advice is that you need to put password or code so that when you leave your phone, nobody will uh, use it. Yes, that's true. And we also have here an answer from Princess. I feel mad when, an when someone annoys me. It's the same feeling events. here. Hi, Tin. You're watching when somebody tease me. From Drew Navarez, when my brother eats all the food. We have the same feeling, <laughs> Drew. I like <laughs> that answer. When someone disturbs me while sleeping. Exactly. I feel bad when someone uses my phone, yes, without asking permission. From Jan Clifford, when someone wakes me up in the midnight. So and who that we, person? <laughs> who that person is? I guess we have really a lot of reasons in getting mad, mom fam. Okay. Yeah. Also have yeah. here Drew Hatchy. I get mad when someone disturbs my reading. Oh. Mm -hmm. From Philip Andrew, I feel mad when the internet is slow. Yes, I'm just praying that the internet will cooperate with us. Ah. <laughs> 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 we like that moments. From Dua Daniel, when somebody hurts me. Thank you so the same much for feeling. answering. Yeah, of course, teacher Jill, when um when you have personal problems, right? Physical or psychological pain, you will get easily mad okay let's go now to our second uh vocab word we have here yell a yell is a loud shout given by someone who is afraid or in pain again a yell is a loud shout given by someone who is afraid or in pain now have you experienced yelling why kids my question now is, have you experienced yelling? Why? Teacher Jill. Okay, our Do you love teacher Okay, okay. Say yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Our next question from mom fam is, have you experienced 
doing yelling and what 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 was the reason why you were yelling okay yes, right exactly. the answers below uh teacher jill yes, do you ma'am. love to yell or do you love to scream i do not really yell a lot because i have a low tone of voice mom fam so i just um keep my tone um low i really uh, do not yell at all how about yeah, you mom fam? Most of the time also, because I cannot really manage my emotion. Yes. I am that kind of person. I yell when I get mad. All right. Yes. Every but, day? Yes, every day. Seriously? Yes, every day. <laughs> Be careful with your voice. Drew Navarez, I yell when I get mad. Yes. From Mac Lee, my sister is yelling at me. What could be the reason? Kate Picard, yep. <laughs> From Red Coon, I yell in my room if the lights are off because I'm a scared, scaredy cat. Yes. From Cedric Aloe Vera, yes, I yell when I see a giant spider. Oh, that's so scary. From Trixie Mess, yes, when I see a cockroaches. Yes, I'm afraid to have cockroaches. From January K. Sabanal, I yell when I see a rat. From Kayumba, yes, because my dog is so noisy, he always bark. From Yesa Marie, my brother yell at me. From Adrian J. Apostol, yes, my father yell at me. What could be the reason? From Cedric Oliveira, yes, I yell when I see a giant spider. From Drew Navarez, I yell when I get From it's cookie frappex. Yes, the reason is because either in pain or anger. Yes, that's true. Exactly. I love that answer. I love that answer. They are most of them, Teacher Jill. Did you uh notice most of them they know how to use the punctuation mark and they know how to answer in a complete sentence or complete thought? Well done, kids. Well done. Yes. That's true, Mom Fem. Thank you so much, kids, for sharing your experience with us. I guess we can go now to our next vocabulary word, Mom Fem. We still have. Okay, let's go now to the next word. The next word is. Okay, kick. Look at the picture. If you kick someone or something, you hit them forcefully with your foot. Okay, now my question is, is it good to kick someone or even your pet? Do you have pets at home? Is it okay to kick your pet or someone? Okay, our word, next word is kick, K-I-C-K. Yes. K-I-C-K. So the question is, is it good to kick someone or an animal? Yes or no? From Drew Navarez, no. That's good. From Drew Hatchy, no. From Reina Bella Dominguez, no. From my I kick my ball. From Philip Jan Gerdosa, no. From Mark Angela Bumhano, no. From Adrian J. Apostol, no. Yeah, it's a big no. Yes, it's really a big no to kick someone exactly someone physically yes, yes. when true. you kick someone it means we treat them badly we criticize or we insult them yes that's true mom so it's, it's not really, really not good, good. To... yeah okay from k umbai no i will not well i guess very I good Kay. We have the right attitude from gerald ryan no because i um, from Kate Picard, no. It's a prologue, no. Really, no. From Reed Good, I kick my wall every time. It's part of my training. Well, if it's okay. training, it's good. Thank you so much, Kate, for your answer. Okay. Okay, are we done with our motive questions, Teacher Jill? Can we proceed now to our our story are you excited kids with our story okay let me share you this
Hello, Teacher Jill. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Nakita na ba? We cannot still see. Okay, it's loading, ma'am, fam. Okay, now we can see it now. Okay. Okay. Kailangan pa ba siya lakihan? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that... All right. So the title of our story for this afternoon is Toto Turtle Takes Time to Talk and Think. This is illustrated by Olivet O. Bruno and MPO Dunka. Can you hear my voice, Teacher Jill? It's super clear and loud. Yes, I can hear you. All right. Toto Turtle is a terrific turtle. He likes to play with his friends, Freddy Frog, Coco Crocodile, and Lucky Dog. Toto is kind and honest, but sometimes things happen that make Toto really mad. When Toto gets mad, he used to hit, kick, or yell at his friends. Then, his friends get upset. Sometimes, they get mad too. They hit, kick, and yell at Toto. Mama Turtle is sad that Toto gets mad easily. Toto, she says, you're a good turtle, except when you are mad. I'll teach you a way not to get mad easily. It's called think like a turtle. Think like a turtle? Asks Toto. Yes, Mama Turtle answers. Just follow these four steps. First, know your feelings. Are you starting to feel angry? The second one, think and tell yourself. Stop. The third one, tuck yourself inside your shell and take a three deep breath. If you still feel bad, take more deep breath. And lastly, come out when you come and think of a solution. The next day, Toto is playing with his friends when he was hit by a ball. Toto starts to feel mad. He yells, ouch! Who threw that ball? Was it you, Coco? Coco says, I am sorry, Toto. I did not mean to hit you. Toto starts to walk to Coco to hit him. But he remembers what Mama Turtle said. Think like a turtle. Toto stops and thinks. Why do I feel mad? Coco did not hit me because he wanted to. I got in the way of the ball. Toto tucks his head inside his shell and takes three deep breaths. Then three more deep breaths. Then two more. Then he looks at Coco. It's all right, Coco. But next time, be careful with the ball, okay? All right. So that's the end of my story. Thank you, Teacher Jill. Thank you, Teacher Jill. 
yes and that's the end of story of mom fam toto the turtle so yes can we have um, okay we okay have kids questions. did you like the story i'll ask them muna teacher jill if they really like the story it's very short story okay kids did you like the story of mom fam because i liked it myself i really mm -hmm. enjoyed listening the story okay yeah. you your answers hello did you enjoy the story or have you had something learned about this story that non fam actually teacher jill i chose this story because i can relate it to myself Yes, we no can patience. all easily. Yeah. Yes. I easily get well, mad. We have here an answer from Drew Navarez. Yes. Thank you, yes. Drew. Thank you for liking the story. Yes, from Adrian J. Apostol. Yes, they surely yes, like the story, Mom. From, from Philip Andrew. Yes, for Mom. Okay. From Lim. Total mad all the time. From Grace Asaman. Yes. From Thoughts I Heard Us, yes. From Grace Asaman, yes. Okay, thank you, kids. Thank you for your honest answer. Thank okay. you so much, kids. Okay, let's proceed now to our first question, Teacher G. If they really okay. uh, listen to the story. Okay, I have here some questions. Let's go now to the first question. So here is the first question. How would you describe Toto? Kids, again, how would you describe Toto? Comment your answer now. Okay, our first question is, how would you describe Toto? What do you think is the kind of animal is Toto? Okay, how would you describe him? You write your answers in the comment section. What can you say about Toto? Yes. From Grace, can, yes. From Grace Caniliada. From Priscilla Mika, Toto really get mad easily. Exactly. Good answer, Priscilla. From Reed Kuhn, get mad easily. That's good. From Axela Enim Saj, Toto get mad easily. From K Umbai, Toto get mad easily. Well, that's a good answer. From Juhachi, Toto gets mad easily but knows how to control himself. Wow. From Ronnie Cabrera, Toto gets mad easily. From Juhachi, Toto gets mad easily but knows how to control himself. Well, that's a well good said. Answer. From JB James, Toto get mad easily. Wow. From Juhachi, from, okay, from, still have more answers. From Adrian J, Toto is mad easily. Well, all your answers are great. Okay. Okay, from teacher Kathy Jill. Girl, we, still, we still have answers. Yes, they, 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 have, they have the same answer, no? But yes. I'm still looking for another answer. Kumbaga, tumatak sa kanila yung pagiging uh, easily get mad of Toto, right? But Toto also have another side, di ba? Another attitude, okay? Positive side of Toto. Toto is a playful turtle. I mentioned that in the story. Toto also is a kind and honest turtle. Aside from being uh, get mad easily, he is also a playful, a kind, and honest turtle. Kaya lang yun talaga tumatak sa kanila. Yes, ba? That Toto gets okay. mad easily. But we have here an answer. And also friend. terrific. And Toto yes. is a terrific turtle. That's true. But he gets very mad easily. Thank you. Exactly. So well princess. said. Yeah. Well said, princess. Okay, let's proceed now to our next question. Question number two. Okay. Toto is fast learner. Meron pa. Okay, let's proceed now to our question number two. What are the four steps? 
in Think Like a Turtle. Again, what are the four steps in Think Like a Turtle? That was being said by Mama Turtle. What are those four steps in Think Like a Turtle? At least one. Give me one. Okay, kids? Okay, what are those four steps to think like a turtle? It was mentioned in the story. Okay. Yeah, four steps. Yes, it was told by the mother turtle. What are those four steps? Okay, give us one. Only one. Okay, I think they're still typing, mom fam. Yes. And I really like those four steps. It can really help us. Exactly. Especially when well. we are in the um, verge of our emotion. I yes, think this coming... No, you're yes, feeling. Yes, I no, think this feeling. coming August, Teacher Jill, this coming August, the opening of classes, we can apply those four steps. <laughs> we can surely apply those one steps. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yes, right? we have here an answer from Angel Barrietta, Know Your Feelings. Yes. Wow, very good answer. What? From Trixie Mez. Oh, this is my nephew. Hi, Know Your Feelings. Thank you for watching, Tin. From Drew Navarez, talk inside your shell and take three deep breaths. Very good, Drew. Okay, yung bye. Know your feeling and if you are, say stop. Yes, that's well, true. Stop. Yeah, stop. Learn how to say stop. Okay, <laughs> from Jana Princess, think and tell yourself. Yes. From K Umbai, know your feeling and if you are, and if you are say, say stop. stop. Okay, stop. good answer. <laughs> from Drew Navarez, tongue inside your shell. From Philip Andrew, one of the steps is know your feeling. All right. So always know your feelings first. And of From course, you have to take a deep breath. Yes, that's true, Mom Fan. From Philip John, take a deep breath. Oh. They really enumerated. I guess they enumerated a four. Um, yes. Well, very good. From Duha Daniel Mabalon. One, think like a turtle. Two, know your feelings. Three, take three deep breaths. Yes. Well, that's brilliant okay. of you, Duha. To, to, to Duha, she can apply this one because she is also an athlete, oh. right? Me, I am also a tennis player. So every time I lose the game, I easily get mad. I feel angry like that. So my my father told me to take a three deep breath. It can help. Yes. It can really help. Yes, mom, fam. It can really help to lower your emotion. Emotion. Yeah. For our third question, who are the three friends of Toto? There are three friends of Toto who, whom he usually kick, he usually yell. Okay, who are those three friends? Let's see. Okay, let's see. It was also mentioned in the story that Toto is a friendly turtle. So who are those three friends of Toto? Can we please yes. write down the answer or their names in the comment section below? Who are they? I guess they are still typing. For sure, you too, you have a lot of friends. Oh, we have here from Ronica Marie, Freddy Frog. Yes, very good, Ronica. We have also here from Mark Angelo Bonghanoi Coco. From January K. Sabanal Coco. All right. Coco the crocodile. Coco crocodile. We also have here from Priscilla Mika, Coco crocodile, Freddy Frog, and Lucky Duck. Oh, exactly, okay. Priscilla. Complete answer. From Jen Clifford, Freddy. From Trixie Meds, Lucky Duck. We also have here from Grace Caniliada, Coco. From Althea Ruby, Coco, Lucky Duck, and Freddy. From Mark Angelo, Coco, Lucky Duck, and Freddy Frog. From Philip John Gardose, Coco Crocodile, Lucky Duck, and Fred Freddy Frog. Wow, they really enumerated the friends from Denise Nagaliza, Coco Crocodile, Freddy Frog, and Lucky Duck. 
for Philip John Coco Crocodile, Lucky Duck, and Freddy Frog. Wow, they really listen to the story, Mom Fan. So what yes, is the answer, you, Mom Fan? Freddy Frog. Okay, these are the three friends of uh, Toto. Coco, uh, Freddy Frog, and then Coco Crocodile, and of course, the Lucky Duck. Okay, let's proceed now to our next question. Good answer, Princess and Lastly, Lucky Duck. Yes, very good, Princess and Edlai. Okay, let's proceed now to our fourth question. When you have a friend like Toto, how would you handle him or her every time he or she feels mad? Again, when you have a friend like Toto, how would you handle him or her every time he or she feels mad? you have a friend like Toto, kids, or a family members, or a relative, or a neighbor who has a character like Toto? Okay, kids, the question of mom time is, when you have a friend like Toto, how would you handle him or her every time he or she gets mad? Yes. I know that we can be uh, sometimes like Coco in life, mom fam. So we have here an answer already, mom fam, from Cedric. I'll comfort him if I have a friend like him. Wow, that's a good heart. That's from good. Cedric. From Kent Castley, I'll comfort him. Thank you. From Drew Navarez, I would make my friend come and think if it's right to kick friends. Well, good <laughs> advice. <laughs> From Dieter Monto, calm him down. I like that. I like that answer. Calm him down. Send him to stop. <laughs> From Gerald Dry and send him to stop. From Princess Anne Adlai. Uh, from Cassie Jun Jun Perez, I'll hug him. Wow. I really appreciate their answer, Teacher Jill. They know how to comfort their friends who easily get mad. Yes, that's true, ma'am. And that's really a good attitude, kid. Okay, yes. from Ronica Marie, tell her or him to control his or her anger. Yes, well said. Agrees. As a man, tell to calm down. Yes, that's true. From Philip and Juno Lazarda, if I have a friend like Toto, I would tell him to calm down. Yes, that's true. Well that's said. Well really said. Help. Yes, from Grace <laughs> Caniliana, Coco. From Neil Carmen, tap his back and make him come and say some jokes long. Uh, that's a good, good answer, Nate. Good answer, Sil. That's Sir Nathan Baruga. <laughs> Hi, Sir Nathan. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> well said, Sir Nathan. Well said. <laughs> tap the back and say some jokes. That's good. From K Umbai, I will still understand him. Wow, that's sweet. Oh, understanding. From Princess Elmeta, I will tell him to calm down. I want to be friends. I want to be friends with these uh, kids, Jill. Yes, they really know how to handle people who get yeah. mad easily. They know how to handle me. <laughs> yes, for sure. For sure. Most especially Neil. <laughs> yes, from or Neil. Uh, from Mark Angela, I will give him five up here. <laughs> That's wow, nice. that's nice. Another uh, another idea. Yes, Good another job, idea. Mark. Okay. You will from high B, the feet. When I have a friend like Toto, I will hug him and calm him or her down. Wow. Oh, that's, that's sweet. sweet. That's nice sweet. answer, Heidi. All right, let's okay. go to our last question, teacher Jill. Congratulations, kids. You had a very good answers. Okay, let's proceed now to our last question. What is the most important lesson in the story? Okay, kids. What is the most important lesson in the story? Comment now your answer. Okay, the question. Last question that Mom Fam had for you is, what is the most important lesson? that you can get in the story okay always remember kids that when answering you must write it in a complete sentence what have you learned in the story we had this afternoon? Yes. surely they really had a lot of learnings 
And then, do not forget to use the correct punctuation marks. Yes, kids. If you're going to uh, write or type a sentence, start it with big letter. Okay? Yes, and add it with the correct punctuation mark. I guess we have here a, an answer already, ma'am, from Shala Marie Sumaga. Be a good friend. Wow. From Tanja nice. Kilubman. Don't be mad easily. From MJ yes. don't get mad at your friends easily. That's correct. From Ryuchi Ampolito, be patient. Oh, that's true. From Gerald Brian Darrow, think and said yourself, stop it. Yes. That's true. From Jen Clifford Kiben, that I know how to control myself and don't eat your friends. Well said. Oh. From Ryuchi, the most important lesson is this in the story is to be patient in everything. Well, that's a good answer. From Heidi Lapitan, don't get mad easily and friendship is important. How sweet. Wow. From Ken Castley, be patient. From Drew Navarez, not, not to get mad and stay relaxed. Yes, really. That's important to stay relaxed and stay calm. Radhika Marie, the moral lesson of the story is don't get angry easily. Yes, that's true. From Adrian J. Apostol, if I am mad, I will not hurt everyone. From Juhachi, I will Good. control my anger or emotions and won't take my anger on my friends. From Drew Navarez, not to get mad and stay relaxed. Oh, I really learned a lot. From Juhachi, I will control my anger or emotions and won't take my anger on my friends. Well That's said. Good. From Trixie Metz to control my anger. Yes, we must always control our emotions, most especially when we are angry. From Kate Picard, learn to control our emotion. Correct. Nagmana ito sa papa niya ba? Emotion, Kate yes. Picard. <laughs> diba? Very <laughs> good answer, Kate. Is really a calm, calm person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hachi, I will control good anger. example. Good example yes. is Sir Picard. Yes, right? very calm and relaxed person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From Philip Andrew, the most significant wow, lesson in this story is don't get mad easily and learn to be patient. That's a good idea, Philip. I guess we still have... In grade four, in grade four, teachers, teacher Jill, we have yes, those... Examples also in grade for teachers, we have Sir Baruga. They know how to control their emotion, especially uh, see, um, Sir, what do you call this? Yes. Sir, all the boys in grade four. <laughs> Sir Conde. Conde. Very uh, calm, don't know how to get mad easily. Yes, that's why we love those grade four boys teachers. Yes, of course. They okay. do relax us. <laughs> and we do Hi, back. Hi, Sir Julian. Wow, congratulations, teacher Pam. Such a good storyteller. I like the story. And of Thank course, you, thank Jenny. you so much for for having us today, Teacher Fam, and of, for, of course for um, sharing your your skills in storytelling. And of course, uh, our kids, our viewers are learning fun today. Thank you so much for having with us, Teacher Fam. So I think, um, I guess I uh, need to say goodbye now, Teacher Fam, to our viewers. Okay, goodbye everyone. See you see you next time. Teacher Gia, Teacher Jenny, see you around. And to all the kids here who are watching with us, to all the teachers, thank you so much for your time. And to all the kids, I hope you learned something this afternoon. And I hope you will bring that learnings every time, wherever you go, okay? Just to control, don't forget to control your emotion. Don't forget to control your anger. Just be happy wherever you go. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, that's true, teacher fam. Uh, yes, I know that our 
viewers are all happy now and learn so much from you so it's a really uh, it's a privilege to have you this afternoon teacher fan so um teacher teacher Gino, uh, it's time for you now to say goodbye to our lovely uh, dear viewers well, before I will say goodbye, I would like to say thank you, Mom Fe, for sharing such a beautiful story to our viewers. And welcome, thank Teacher you so Jill. Much to our kids and to all our viewers for watching and for staying with us at this moment. And I will be seeing you again tomorrow and for the rest of the days this week. See you again tomorrow, kids. Bye. Bye, yes. everyone. Bye, everyone. And please uh, watch us again tomorrow. And so our upcoming sessions, our reading webinar series, please uh, be with us again. So for this uh, this time, uh, we will now say goodbye to our viewers in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. How to enroll in Magumpo Pilot Central Elementary School. First, just go to MPCES Mabini Street, Tagum City. Second, abide to our school health protocols. Third, fill out the form accurately. And fourth, submit to help desk staff for validation. You are then officially enrolled. For inquiries, contact us through our hotline numbers. What are you waiting for? Enroll now! For more updates, please like and follow our Facebook pages, Magumpo Pilot Central Elementary School official page, and MPCS Reading Programs. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MPCS Reading Programs.